Pradas, what do you think of D'Angelo Russell? I don't like him. Why? I don't know. For some reason, he just seems like, you know, like, the kind of guy that's like a snitch. And he's just, let me just tell you, he's like an NBA Justin Bieber. What? 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 Loves the fame. Loves everything. What? 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 It's just... You get what I mean? He just likes to use his fame to get I don't think I do. I don't think I do. Well, I'm just trying to tell you that the kind of guy who portrays his Okay, so my sister's gone insane. Yo, 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 what's good, everybody? It's your boy Sammy, aka Laker Boy Ace. And as you guys can see, we are in a different uh, area today. We're actually driving as we speak. Driving as we speak. Driving as we speak. Mainly because I wanted to get a video out to you guys ASAP. There has been a lot of recent Lakers gossip, you could say. So let's get right into it. Actually, I digress. Before we get right into it, congratulations to my man Mitch Kupchak. My boy, it was his birthday today. I just want to say, this man is the GOAT. I have never seen a general manager with so much calm and composure and just true to his form. I mean, the guy truly delivers as a general manager. He makes blockbuster trades. He was the guy that set up the pieces around Kobe Bryant and Shaquille O'Neal. You know, he started back in 2000, and from 2000 to 2010, the Lakers were amazing. Up until now, it's hit or miss. But I do believe Mitch Kupchak will get us back on the right track. So, where do we go from now? Mitch Kupchak and the whole Lakers organization, there are rumors that they all want to sign Brian Shaw. What do I think of this decision, if it were to happen? I think it's a great decision. I think Brian Shaw is exactly what we need. He is that veteran piece on the bench that will help develop the players. Him and Luke Walton together is the greatest combo because Luke Walton's young and he can appeal to the players while Brian Shaw is older, he's more mature. He's a veteran piece. He's won championships with the Lakers, 2000 to 2003, the Kobe and Shaq era. And he was an assistant coach when Kobe won his two rings solo. So you know Brian Shaw has experience. And on top of that, Paul George has credited a lot of his development because of Brian Shaw. He said Brian Shaw helped him develop as a player. So this would be great if we were to, for example, get a wing player like Brandon Ingram in the offseason from the NBA draft. I think that would be amazing. So Brian Shaw fits right into our squad and this perfectly transitions into the offseason and how the Lakers might be a very appealing team to a superstar talent in the offseason like DeRozan. Not a superstar, but a star. Or KD, who is a superstar. But um, I should say, I just saw the OKC and Warriors game, and man, there's no way uh, Durant should leave the Thunder. I mean, damn. I mean, damn, guys. They blew the hell out of the Warriors. Great job, great job. Came in there as underdogs. People thought they were gonna lose in five. They didn't, man. I, I'm really proud of the, war, uh, the Thunders. And I do believe that Thunder's gonna take it now. 3-1 series, it's crazy. But I'm getting off topic. We started this video to talk about the Lakers news. So yeah, other than that, there was just one more thing. D'Angelo Russell was named to the NBA second all team. I think I said that right. But regardless, he made it there. And he only got one vote, which was a third place vote, unfortunately. I do still believe in D'Angelo Russell. I believe that he is going to be that corner piece for our franchise. He's going to be a great player. He is going to develop into something that a lot of people just lost hope in. All right, D'Angelo Russell is a really good player. Not a Kobe, but a really good player. So congrats to you, D'Angelo. And just a reminder, you know, Kobe, he made the second NBA All-Team too for rookies. So look at him now, look at him now. So that's about it, guys. Other than that, there's really nothing else going on. You know, just same Lakers stuff. It's mostly just playoffs that are pretty big right now. But be sure to come back because I will be updating you guys with more Lakers news. Specifically, what we should be doing in the offseason and what free agents we should be signing. That's going to be my next video. So, other than that, guys, it's been real. It's your boy Sammy, a.k.a. Laker Boy Ace, signing out. Till next time.